What is up everyone? Today I will be showing you guys how to beat the new map Carts and Darts on Chimps. So to start off with, we are going to put our Ninja Monkey right in the crossroads right there so it can hit the balloons three times before they go to the finish line. And we are going to rush to get this guy into a 2-0-1 Ninja. Now that we have our 201 Ninja, we are going to save up for our hero, Gwendolyn. We're going to get her early so that she can get the levels that she needs to make the end of this run that much easier. Next on the list is to upgrade our Ninja Monkey into a 301, and then we are going to place down an Alchemist to buff these two towers. So just like we did uh, on this map when we beat it on Impopable, we're going to leave a large gap in between the two monkeys and the Alchemist so that we can put a Super Monkey in there later. And then we are going to build this Alchemist into a 300. Now we are going to upgrade our Ninja Monkey into a 401 and then go back to our Alchemist and upgrade him into a 400. This will give us all the popping power we need and all the coverage we need to pop any type of balloon sent our way. Now that we have these upgrades, we are going to squeeze a Super Monkey in between the Ninja Monkey and the Alchemist. This gap is perfect in that the Super Monkey will be able to hit the path three times before the balloons reach the finish line and all the monkeys are still in the range of the Alchemist and later on also the Monkey Village. We will then upgrade this Super Monkey into a 201 so that we will have all the popping power we need to move on with this run. Now that we have our 201 Super Monkey, we are going to place a Monkey Village uh, directly above it. This will give it all the range it needs to touch every single tower that we have, and then we will upgrade it into a 220 Monkey Village. This will give all of our monkeys the ability to see camos, as well as letting them all attack faster. As you can see, we are now handling all of these rounds very easily, which gives us the opportunity to upgrade our Super Monkey into a Sun Avatar. Now that we have our Sun Avatar, we are going to place down a Heli Pilot. Now you're going to want to put this in the range of the Monkey Village and the Alchemist, but the Monkey Village is more important. In this case, I couldn't get uh, it in the range of both, so I just place it to the left. Later on, we're going to give this Heli Pilot its own personal Alchemist, and we still beat this run uh, fairly easily, so it does not matter in the long run. I guess it is also pretty important to mention that we are upgrading this heli pilot into a 205. Uh, this is the tower that will carry us through the end of the game, and it is a hefty price to upgrade this bad boy, so it will take quite a long time, but the towers we have right now are more than enough to carry us to that point.
So now we finally have our 205 Heli Pilot, and this thing just destroys the waves. I was worried with the newest patch, uh, the 8.1 patch that came out, that the change to the Alchemist uh, affecting each helicopter uh, with its charges would make this strat a lot worse, but after seeing this, it still uh, takes down these waves very easily, and so we don't really have to adjust our strategy that much for these intermediate maps. But after this, we're going to want to upgrade our Monkey Village into a 230, and then give the Heli Pilot its own personal 400 Alchemist to keep it buffed the entire time. This guy throws his brews fast enough to keep up with the four that the heli pilot needs. And then, uh, the only thing missing from our run is a DDT taking down specialist, which is what we got the ice monkey for. You want to put the ice monkey in the range of the monkey village and one of the alchemists so that it gets all the buffs it needs, and then we'll upgrade this ice monkey into a 025. Here we get our 025 Ice Monkey just in time to take down all of the blimps headed our way in the past few, in the last few rounds, uh, which really caps off this run. You can do whatever you want with the rest of your money. I just upgraded an Alchemist to throw faster. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it on this new map, especially with a new update. I was worried that this. Uh, strategy wouldn't really work anymore, but even after the balancing update, it is still a very strong build for really any run on any of the intermediate or beginner maps. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what videos you want me to make in the future.